What has art, what does art mean to me? It's, it's a gateway for me into the world. It's a way for me to talk to you and for us to have something in common. It's a way for me to talk to a millionaire and have something in common with him where we have nothing else in common. It's a way for me to talk to a homeless person where we might not have shit in common but the art, you know? It's helped me do everything in my life. Um, born with nothing, shitty parents, shitty upbringing, all that stuff, an art talent that I believe everyone's given something. And this was my ticket to, to save myself. Uh, right now we're at the Hundreds Warehouse, um, painting a mural, they're letting me do my expressions. They're letting me go, on, go at it on the wall with my own personal form of art, which is, happens to be the Pillhead character. And the mural's been um, something I've wanted to do for a while. Um, a cheesy story as it is, on friggin' Instagram, Bobby was surfing at El Porto and called out, who can name this beach? Nobody could because El Porto doesn't exist anymore. It's owned by Manhattan. But I called it out because that's where I'm from. And he was like, you know, he hit me back like, oh shit, that's dope, you know. Uh, let's do some, but it went into an email after that direct message, let's do some art together. Then I was introduced to an art director here. It's a cheesy story, but it started from an Instagram post. The Pillhead character that I created for me, is very personal. It's um, it. I know every pill that's in his. It's that's up there. You know, I've seen them all. If you ask me which one is which, I can tell you and how it works and how it affects you and which one is higher than that, which one is lower than that, and blah 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 blah. Just from doing drugs my whole life. Just from being. Both of my parents were heroin addicts. I was raised by my grandparents. Um, it was a crazy life to me. It was normal as shit. But when I talk to my friends about it now, they we have the funniest stories. Like my friends loved coming to my house, and I really didn't realize that it was because there was no parenting. Like, I would make the breakfast and dinner for them at seven years old, and they, now we trip out on it and laugh. Everything had cigarette burn holes in it, you know? It was like the gnarliest, weirdest living, right? But to me, it was normal. A lot of the murals I paint, I focus on um, three things. I focus on ex a lot of expressions, uh, patterns, and, um, and, and uh, movement. Like, um, and, then, and then you play with the dimensions. Like, you can play with shadowing on top of each other, uh, coming out of the, out of the framework. Um, uh, but I, I feel patterns overlapping and I feel loud cartoony expressions and movement and things like that, gestures. I feel those bring excitement to people. They bring energy to the artwork itself, you know? So when, I, when I'm thinking of it, that's what I'm, I'm, I'm piecing these pieces together and trying to put them together to make it all coincide and blend together, which is very hard. I'm glad with the path I took, I would never change anything because I love where I'm at right now. Right now, I love where I'm at in my life. My name is Christian Touche. I've been doing this my whole life, man. This art thing is, is my ticket out of here. Hi, I'm Alina here at The Hundreds Home Base. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to The Hundreds YouTube channel for more exclusive videos below and check out thehundreds.com for the latest and greatest in street culture from around the world.